What's happening, my good people? It's your boy PKG the Lux back with another vid on how I did. You already know what it is. So check this out. Yesterday we went down to the beach and I was just waiting for a job because I didn't have anything scheduled for today. I tried to call some people in the area to see if they needed or had anybody that was around that may have needed some technical help, which I would have came out and done since I was in the area, but no one called me back. So I didn't want to make it a wasted trip and I didn't make it a wasted trip. So I went down there still to support my friend who's also a, a worker of a similar company sort of as what we're doing, but I try to encourage him more to do it on the independent end because it's a whole lot faster for you. I promise you that. And uh, <clears throat> we were going to a location towards the beach and I was able to get a job down there. So there was a job that popped up and this job was probably the coolest, the easiest, and one I've already done before before even figuring out what tech entrepreneurship might even be. So guess what I ended up doing? A Blink install. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but in one of my previous videos, I had or spoke about all the security camera systems that you probably had that were available that incorporated Wi-Fi, one of which would have been the Blink system. The Blink is a self-install system, but the complexities of it may knock you out. So. I was dealing with a couple and I will go ahead and I will admit early. If you did not have any type of device, I mean, smartphone device, you probably would have been stumped from there. So they were a fairly older couple. They were looking at and trying to figure out how to get this thing installed. And they did not understand the one, two, three mechanism that it gave you, which I tell people all the time. It's not as simple as it looks. That's why you might need somebody sometimes. So I came in there and I realized that I've done this type of job before. Kudos to that. I thank you. But I've done this type of job before and it really wasn't that complicated. Now, when I did do the job, this is what ended up happening. I um, came into the house, started looking and asked what the Wi-Fi password was. Once again, we figured out where the router and also modem was located. Um, I briefly asked them, was it easy for them to set up that camera? They said yes. And then we started looking at the other options of camera that they had. So I looked at them, they already had batteries in them. <clears throat> I punched I punched the screw of the device out so that I can get to the barcode. Now, this is where it got tricky because if you're not understanding of the knowledge of today's date, it's gonna bust you up every time. So you had to take your phone, use and scan the barcode. Once you got the motion app, configured to it. So then you had to have a configuration box synchronized to that box just so you can update that one in the phone. And then it took about 10 minutes of framework updates and boom, your camera was there. Now he wasn't going to know all that. And I, that's where it kind of, that's where our expertise comes into play. That's why you have to be a little bit understanding of the products that you're using. It, it really is a one, two, three, one, two, three step process. It's not that complicated, but for the elder generation, it, it's not intended for easy use. I will say it's not the best user friendly. They just make it seem simplified and it's not. So we had to scan the barcode, the barcode detected the framework update. Then we already put the mounts on the placements on where they wanted to and went outside and stuck them up there. Now, this is where the drawback was. I asked them how many devices did they have in their household. Before installing this, I didn't think about that. They only had just the router. And I said to myself, you're probably gonna need a mesh extender. Um, what is a mesh extender? I'll talk about that in a separate episode. But they were gonna need a mesh extender just so that they could have internet in their entire household synchronized together because they were adding so many devices that were going on the Wi-Fi. So, if you don't have any idea about how that works, it usually slows up the bandwidth going to your devices and then you have latency. Latency is when you speak into it and then it says the words maybe seven seconds later. I'll say, hey, hey, like that's how it will respond. The same voice, just later. So if your Wi-Fi is kind of lazy, that will always tend to be a problem, but you want to make sure that that is one of the issues that you take care of and you want to let the customer know or client know that, hey, you have all these devices and this is going to pull some extra bandwidth from those. You may need to get this as well. 
You're not trying to upsell. You're trying to be an honest person. So if it doesn't work in that fashion, they need to understand why it doesn't work. So that was all I had for today. Did a simple blink install. And man, when I say it was a layup, oh man, that was so easy. So easy. So that was an easy 120 to make right there. We'll take that. We'll do that. All right. So we're going to probably see how we do for the entire week. And I'm going to keep you guys updated. All right. PKG Deluxe is here. PKG Deluxe is out. Have a good one, baby.